Predator Insights allows you to monitor and manage a Spectrum Protect and Spectrum Protect Plus estates worldwide from one screen. Your partner may have sent you a URL with which to self-register for a free Predator Insights package. If you follow the URL, uh, you will be able to follow a simple, few simple steps, such as entering your region, your organization name, which is your company, and your preferred partner. That preferred partner name may already have been completed by your partner, and the URL would have taken you straight to this phase here, whereby you just plug in the name and contact details of the key technical individual at your organization uh, and a few more details you can see there and then we'll just step through okay so um you can see these two standards here one for spectrum protect and one for spectrum protect plus just simply run through here plug in a friendly name for the server name um, and you'll need a time zone because predator is of course time zone aware um, and um, any of these boxes could be distributed literally all over the world so you can add as many as you like we've just done one of each here and then proceed and then you can see a summary of the contact details and the um, assets that you're going to be monitoring just click on the license agreement and we'll proceed again um, okay, here are the prerequisites. You can um, read th through those in your own time. In fact, we, we just need a, a streamlined box, really. And you can see that the executable and license can be downloaded from here. Um, however, you will also receive an email sent to that email address you saw earlier. Um, and within that email, you'll see that there is um, a, a kind of pink section at the top for registering right at the top uh, for registering your user you'll need to go in and do that and then you can browse the prerequisites in here to ensure that your client host is um, is adequate should we say it can be a uh, virtual or physical machine we've registered our user here um, and that gives us access to the GUI which we'll be um, using to check our monitoring a little bit later okay so the executable and the license can be downloaded and um, download to the desktop here but you want to combine those in this in a common directory potentially the in the default directory um, that's recommended or um, if you put them in a common directory then you'll find when you kick off the executable run it as administrator here um, will automatically find the license file and we can step through the um, installation select the agent there and um, off we go just say the default directory installation doesn't take too long and you'll see that the uh, predator monitor appears on the desktop there we'll be using that later to um, to gain access to the estate okay so if we just click on that up it pops Now, um, you can see that on the left hand side, we can add Spectrum Protect and Spectrum Protect Plus assets. So if we go straight over to the Spectrum Protect uh, box, that node key we select that was, um, will be familiar to you from earlier. And then just we need um, a admin ID and password, valid admin ID or password, and you'll see the port number we had to define there. Um, you'll need to also have the um, Spectrum Protect admin client installed on the box we're just going to check we have here but you will need the admin client because we're making constant calls via the admin client to um to spectrum protect okay um and then essentially what we're doing is we're going to run a few queries now he's isolated and localized located that box plugged in those commands we're just going to run a quick um, report to see if we're actually gathering data so we can rerun that at the bottom left there and you'll see after a while that we start to um, handshake and gather the data going forward try a few runs of that again on the right hand side there if we just click a um, select some reports to run and it looks like it looks like we're running and gaining data that again you'll see that the um, queries and and an acknowledgement of the queries will start to uh, scroll through now so it looks like we are monitoring that box successfully um, we can go over to admin um, control panel or server agents 
um, within the GUI and you can see that that we've shaken hands and that uh, agent is now known to the GUI that you registered in earlier. So now we can go ahead and add the Spectrum Protect Plus. We can see the uh, server name there and the URL upon which it is sitting. And then a log again a login name and uh, password down below, which again of course has to exist prior to this exercise. Um, that's all described in the uh, prerequisites. Okay, so off we go again. Run a few queries, just run all jobs reports. You can select a, a number of queries there. And we just run that. And hopefully once more, we'll see that handshaking and the acknowledgement and we can see that some reports are actually running and data is flowing between the two. Sometimes there might be some troubleshooting steps in order to, to gain access, but um, it's usually pretty straightforward if we if we know that we can connect to that box from the, um, the client host, then we are in a good position to proceed and you can see that's running now. Okay, excellent. So just confirming those entries we made. That looks good. And for the SPP box, again, it's looking good. You can make changes here should you need to. And here is the, um, the Predator Cloud that we're actually talking to. It's the UK version. There's three. There's one in Germany. What well, public? clouds there's one in Germany one in the States and one in the UK so going over to that login we had earlier that we were sent we can log into the box and we can see that we are gathering data for this protection report we've got both Spectrum Protect Plus and Spectrum Protect assets that are shown here so if you if we just clicked on the ellips ellipsis over there on the right by that table we can scroll down through here the bub the failures have bubbled to the top and um, these are test boxes so they can it can look a bit fragile at times and you can see we've got both sp and spp assets that are being backed up in that same screen okay there's a wealth of detail in all these reports. We're not going to run through all the reports now. We're just going to show that we've actually started to gather data. Um, there's been another video to show you how all the, all the reports can be run and the wealth of data that you can achieve. But suffice to say, you can see that we're gathering data from both Spectrum Protect and Spectrum Protect Plus. Once you've run that collection, by the way, it might take <clears throat> it might take um, um, you know, a, an hour or so to populate and you probably want to get a week or so's data before you can really get meaningful info. By the way, we've changed this scheduled report to a, um, a classic grid, which is a kind of traffic light style report. And you can drill into each of, the, each of the cells there to get more detail of that day's jobs. On the left-hand side there, you can see the wealth of um, reports that are available. And this is the TSM timeline, Spectrum Protect timeline. So we're, we're about more than just backup success and failure. We can see all of the underlying jobs in the background there, which is... Um, uh, uh, good to have so to speak you can actually also align you can see that the actual client sessions are aligned next to the housekeeping jobs which is great um, okay so very very quick video there to show you how you can simply self-register and install and monitor your environment um, straight off the bat and this is our predator insights campaign so that is uh, free of charge thank you very much for your time bye now